There are a hundred reasons that the town of Hot Springs is booming, and we're going to cover just one of those in a minute. But first, let's look at some of the recent buildings and businesses that are new to Hot Springs. First off, Schlotsky's Deli is completing construction on Central Avenue. Also, there is the two-story office building off Section Line Road, which is going to be done in January. The new Texas Roadhouse restaurant should be open by year's end. And also, construction on the Hot Springs Junior Academy, which is next to the high school, is coming along quite well. Also coming along is the Arkansas School for Math, Science, and Arts, Creativity, and Innovation Complex, which will be open for next semester. DeLuca's Pizzeria's new location is 831 Central Avenue, which should be set to reopen the weekend of October 12th. Last year we got Ollie's Bargain Outlet, and this year we have Dirt Cheap, another closeout and bargain place right across the street on Central. Many of you remember when this was a parking lot, and it's now the Wheatley Building, which is going to have three stores in it, pour some sugar on me, a gift shop, plus a cupcake shop. What used to be the Barking Frog and Central Park Fusion restaurants will now become Tootsie's Pet Supply and Pet Daycare, offering unique pet supplies. They are set to open mid-November. Just 150 feet away from that building is the future home of Reptile Garden, a building and exhibit that will start construction in 2019. 501 Prime Restaurant on Grand Avenue is now open. They have a unique design where they have incorporated over 90% reclaimed wood on the interior. As well as fine dining, they also include a bar and an outdoor patio. Now let's talk about one of the many reasons that Hot Springs has become so popular. It's what I call the diversity of social interaction. Otherwise known as, everyone gets involved. Different groups and events blend together to make for a seamless connection for both the tourist and Hot Springs resident alike. One example of this was the first annual multi-church picnic on Whittington Avenue. Three different churches from different denominations offered a free event for kids and adults. There was great social interaction for everyone. That very same weekend, the Hot Water Hills Music and Arts Festival combined various musical acts plus different types of artistry, from fashion to glass blowing, from alternative country to rap. There was truly something for everyone. Something unique about the Hot Water Hills Festival, it's not only for adults, but it was an open event for kids and families at the same time. Multi-generations got to enjoy all the fun. Another example of the diversity of social interaction was right across the street during Gallery Walk at the Galaxy Connection, a Star Wars based museum and gift shop. They decided to get their volunteer superheroes to add an extra dimension to Art Walk and at the same time a fun city chorus came by to join the fun. Three different nonprofit groups got together to sponsor the Native American Quapaw Dancers at the Hot Springs Convention Center. A large group turned out to see the traditional dancers in their authentic uniforms. Coming up October 19th through the 27th is the 27th annual Hot Springs Documentary Film Festival at the Arlington Hotel. 
People from all over the world come down to Hot Springs to see the films and attend the workshops. Over 100 volunteers join in to help make this event a spectacular for everyone, from the attendees to the visiting filmmakers. So go to their website, hsdfi.org, to get more information and make sure you attend this year's Hot Springs Documentary Film Festival. Inside this building is the part of Red Light Roastery you don't often see. This is where the beans are roasted. Let's check it out. Coming up on a future episode, the art and science of coffee roasting. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, or follow us on Instagram. You are watching the Hot Springs Broadcast Network.